If you are going to shoot your first short film, you're watching the right video. I'm going to tell you what I've learned shooting my very first short film, what went wrong and also probably why people tend to hate their first short films. Also, this is just the part one video where I will focus mostly on the pre-production stage. If you want to see the actual thing, and I mean the short film, link is up here and also in the description of this video. Now let's start with the pre-production. I have shot this film in January 2020 and it can be categorized as a no-budget short film. If you are also planning to shoot a no-budget short film, prepare yourself that you will always need to spend some money. The first thing that I did in the pre-production stage is that I wrote a script. The short is a mysterious slash horror story of a girl who ends up in a hotel room because she needs a quiet place to work to finish her book. After some time she realizes that she's not alone there and that something or someone is hiding in the big wardrobe. From the beginning I knew that I want the short to be between 5 to 10 minutes, so the script ended up being 5 pages long. It took me approximately 2 to 3 days to put together the first draft of the script. Then I've sent the script to the actress and I've also showed it to my lovely wife and a friend of mine to receive some feedback. So the first thing that I've learned is that you really need to receive some feedback and constructive criticism on your work. It especially applies to the script of your first short film. People around you will see your piece from audience's perspective, which is really great because then you will know what would people want to see, what makes and what makes no sense to the audience. But on the other hand, you really have to be careful about those suggestions you will receive because at the end of the day you are the only person who knows the story the best and you don't want to do some changes or decisions you will regret later. Well, locations. This can be a tough task. At first I was not thinking about a hotel room. I had in mind an old and maybe a little creepy looking Airbnb. So I started my online research and I have found a really nice and beautiful place. I've reached out to the owner. She was a nice person on the phone and it looked like she wants to help us with the project. We have arranged a meeting so we can see the place in person. The place was even better in person than on the photos and at that time I was really convinced to shoot the film there. The rental price was okay and there was even plenty of room for us to sleep there after the shoot. And here comes the second thing I've learned. Even if it looks silly, always write down all of the conditions and sign the paper both you and the owner of the location. After a while, after the meeting, the owner changed her mind. Because the place consists of multiple apartments, the owner wanted me to rent one more apartment for the full price. The reason was that she was worried that we would be too loud during the shoot and that we would disturb other potential guests. And because of this she could not rent the other apartment and I needed to cover her potential financial loss. I would understand this of course, but the part of the initial agreement was that I will pay a full price for the apartment where we wanted to shoot the short film and that I will also create video for her to promote all of the apartments for free. After she changed her mind I needed to pay her full rent for two apartments plus I needed to create video for three apartments in total. I've ended up searching for a different solution. I found this beautiful hotel. They agreed to allow us to shoot in their second most expensive room, which is around 300 euros per night, just for creating a short little video for the hotel. Next thing I want to mention is that you really need to visit the place at least a week before the shoot. Take some photos of the location and also shoot some test shots with different focal lengths. Based on this experience you will be able to adjust the script a little bit and it will be also easier for you to work on a shot list. Yes, I've created a shot list and you should work on it too. You may not end up following it 100% but you will force yourself to visualize the shots which will make your life easier on the set. If you are shooting a no budget short film it probably means that you will be at least a director and a DP at the same time. 
This will create a good amount of pressure on you, so you need to be as prepared as possible. A good shot list will also help you to estimate how long will the shoot take. So another huge part of the pre-production process is planning of the actual shoot. You will get better in estimating how long will the shoot take by actually shooting a project, but there is something you can do to be safe when it comes to your first short film. Just remember this one single rule. Everything will take twice as long as you think in pre-production. I really mean it. If you think it will take you one day to shoot the film, just schedule two days. If you end up being really fast, good for you. But if you end up being halfway through at the end of the day one, you will thank yourself for scheduling those two days. There is actually nothing worse than to put weeks into pre-production and then fail just because you have not enough time to shoot your short film. Okay, so that's it for today. I really hope that you will get something out of this video. And if you like it, don't forget to hit the like button for the algorithm. Also subscribe to this channel for more videos about filmmaking. Hit the bell button so you will get notified whenever I post new video. And I will see you in the next episode where I will be talking about the actual production phase of a no budget short film. So until next time, take care. Thank you.